In this problem, a uh, big word problem, they say the increases in global temps can be modeled by T equals blah, 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 where C equals blah, blah, blah is the concentration of the carbon dioxide and N is the number of years since 1999, which of the following is closest to the increase in global temps in 2018. Okay, let's identify some unknowns or I guess just some variables here. So we know that T is the temperature. C is the concentration of carbon dioxide. And N is the number of years since 99. Okie dokie. So, uh, let's see. They say closest to increasing global temps in 2018. So, 2018, that's probably a good place to start. So, 2018 uh, is not going to be our N value, but rather our N value is the number of years since 1999. So, the N value... That would represent 2018 would actually be 19 because 2018 is 19 years since 1999. So our end value is 19. We want to identify what's the increase in global temps. So the increase in global temps is given by our T value. So this is actually increase in temps given by T. So we want to find what T is when N is 19, but there's nowhere to plug N in in the equation t so there is a c though so if we look at c's equation there is a place to plug in n so it's sort of a transitive process here so what we'll do is plug in n equals 19 into the function c so we'll say c of 19 is equal to 389 times 1.0055 raised to the n power but n is 19 in this case so 389, 1.0055 to the 19. Let's see if I can remember that for Desmos here. Okie dokie. 389 times. I've already forgotten that. Maybe. Let's see. I'm going to try out what I remember. See if it's right. Raise to the 19. So 389. Let's see if it'll come back up. 39, 1.005 to the 19. All right, I think we're good. So that is about 431.73, 431.73. So C equals about 431.73. Okay, that's a good start. So we have our C value, but now we still need the increase in global temps, which is given by T. So we're going to plug this C value into the equation for T. So we'll say T... At the C value of 431, I'm going to include that actually. So we'll say T at 431.73 is equal to, we have 6.563, uh, times the ln of C, which is our 431.73 all divided by 289. Okie dokie. So 6.563, and this is going to be a really fun one. So I'll just start with 6.563. 6.563, all multiplied by the ln of 431 over 289. So we have times the, let's go our functions, miscellaneous. We have the ln of our 431 point. 7268, have the decimal up there, divided by what, 289, and we get about 2.63 for our temperature. So using Desmos, any calculator should do, we get the most poorly drawn 2.63, and again, that's in temperature, so degrees, so D is looking pretty good. Use our eraser we find out D is the correct answer. So I'll scan back just so you can see what we have going on there.